the search for the only 35mm SLR camera I'll ever need. Film stock. Today's bright. Let's see what to use. Portra? Portra 160? Why not? Expired? Who cares? Old school commercial. Let's see. Back then. This was it. Minolta. Let's see what to shoot. Mamiya? Mamiya C3? Hmm. Bell and Hal. Beautiful. FD35. Pentax MV. Maybe. Maybe a Mamiya. A little plasticky. Something else. Something more tactile. F100. Not today. Nickel mat. F3. Hmm. Used it too much. Need something different. Something mechanical. Something monstrously strong. The SRT 101. The Minolta Gang. Ha! That's the one. That's the one for me. Let's do it. Nineteen sixties build quality, metallic mostly, strong, durable, fully mechanical, fully usable, light meter, involved, incorporated, lollipop style, takes a battery obsolete. Look on Amazon, I can find a replacement, easy peasy. Higgins, he's a good boy, chilling in the sun, he's my boy. So let's see, let's see then, this beauty, this $20, 1960s, fully mechanical beast. Battery door, light meter, battery check, check the battery. Does it have one in? Will I need to buy one? I have a spare, sure I have one. Easy peasy, Amazon, nice and cheap, readily available, no problems, 11 bucks, in she goes. Posi facing out, no worries, done it before, look on the battery cap, examples of how to do it, place it in, turny turn, righty tighty, easy peasy, no worries. So why this then? Why this camera now? Why the Minolta? It's mechanical. I want to get back to things. I want to get back to old school. I want to feel what it's like to shoot film again. Test the light meter. Does it work? Probably not. Have a look through. Hmm. Seems to be working. The needle is down. If the needle's down, the light meter's working. Do I trust it? Nah, I don't care. Can be underexposed, overexposed. I don't care. I just want to shoot today. Just want to feel the 35. Feel the mechanical vibes. Let's turn the light meter on. Look through. See if she works. Needle should move. Lollipop style. Perfect exposure. Boom. That should be a good image. I'm not going to take a picture of the door. I'm not silly. One to one thousandth of a second on the shutter speed. ASA is found on that dial also. Aperture changed on this ring here. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. 1.9 up to 16. Focus is manual, of course, with this beautiful Rokor lens. Easy to remove the lens. Twist to the left. Line it up with the red dots to pop it back on. No problems here. There's the mirror, and there's Higgins. These lenses, these Rockall lenses, Minolta, beautiful 50mm, wonderfully fast, crisp, 
works effortlessly. Never cleaned it, never had any problems. I love these lenses. This, the 55. Self timer, 10 seconds. Lens release, easy peasy. The SRT 101. Open the rear door like many other 35 mils. Pull up and there's the beautiful shutter, cloth curtain, easy to change the light seals, easy to load the film. Wonderful experience of a 35 mil beast. Let's load the film then this Portra 160 for this sunny day. It's expired. Pictures won't look great, but they're mine, so I'll love them anyway. Easy to place, easy to install, no fast load here. This is old school, 1966. Depress that, slightly depress that opening wheel, and then place the leader snugly in. Little bit of pressure, one cheeky wind and the leader gets caught. Now you can close the back here, but I'm going to show you again another wind. She's in place. Close the rear door. Secure. She's good to go. Wind it a couple of times. Press the shutter. You are good to shoot. Excited. Line the lens. Red dot to red dot. Turn to the right. Lens is secure. This is why I shoot the old 35s. The feeling, the vibe, getting involved. Shoot old school digital, sure. But the 35mm, advancing the shutter, manual focus, the sunny 16, and do I trust the light meter? These images will probably be terrible, but they'll be mine. Let's go shoot this beast.